premature newborn babies have to be fed soybean oil through an IV to help them grow before they're released from the hospital. The problem is that the soybean is rich in omega-6 fatty acids, which can seriously harm a newborn's liver. For many years, we've watched the tiniest of the little babies who are too premature to begin to drink or digest their mother's milk have liver disease and liver inflammation because of the types of nutrition, IV nutrition, intravenous nutrition that was available to them. But thanks to some research, the damage caused by the omega-6 fatty acids can now be reversed with a treatment called Omegavin. Omegavin is made up of omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil, and unlike the soybean, it does not affect a baby's organs. The treatment was not available in the valley until the neonatal intensive care unit at the Women's Hospital at Renaissance was able to get approval by the Food and Drug Administration to utilize the treatment here. This is new research and we're the only NICU in the entire Rio Grande Valley from Brownsville to Laredo that can use these types of <clears throat> omega-3 fatty acids. Dr. Dino and Rubia takes care of infants as young as 22 weeks old. He says at least one out of 10 babies in the valley is born prematurely. That is why getting the fish oil fatty acids treatment was crucial, especially because the fatty acids are critical for the growth of a baby's brain. The babies that will receive the treatment only weigh one to two pounds and they will have to be fed the Omegavin three to six weeks before they can depend on their mother's milk. The treatment had to be shipped from Germany to the valley. Although it was a tedious process, Lisa Trevino says it was all worth it. That's the main goal, I think, for physicians uh, like Dr. Onrubia that we have here at DHR, myself as a scientific professional, to be able to provide that kind of level of care, that kind of innovation, to our patients of the Rio Grande Valley. In Edinburgh, Michelle Vargas, CBS 4 News and valleycentral.com. Not all babies will have to take the new treatment, only those that do show signs of liver damage.